This has always been Maryland's biggest rival, and I'm sure Virginia feels the same way. You're listening to WMEC Sports. This Sunday, Maryland men's soccer hosts the reigning NCAA champion, University of Virginia, live at Ludwig for the second round of the 2015 NCAA tournament. This week, we caught up with Coach Sasha Swarovski and freshman forward Eric Williamson. Four goals this season, two of them coming in the last game and two of them coming in postseason. How have you developed over the season and where do you feel you are now? Uh, I feel good right now. It's Everybody's been pushing me to score goals this year and I know that these are the more, most important games, so I've been focusing a lot more and that's, that's, a little, that's where I've been and that's why I think I've been successful these last two games. And can you explain a little bit the partnership you and Sebastian Eleni have up top? Uh, I would say it's, it's pretty special with him being on the national team with me and we hang out off the field. We go on like little like dates to dinner and you know we just talk about everything and on the field it it like it helps because I know when he wants the ball because he we talk about it in practice we stay after after practice and he's a great player I love playing with him and and just looking to develop it even more. And several times this season, both coach and the players have said that the freshmen, at some point midway through the season, go from being freshmen to just being other players. And, and did you, at what point in the season did you feel less like a freshman and more like a player on this team? Um, there was a game or two where it, we were starting, I'd say, six or seven freshmen. And that's when I knew that we were all just a part of this team. It wasn't, oh, they're just freshmen. We all, we all know we can play at this level. So that's when I think we distinguished that we were all the same players, that we could all play at the same level. And you got your first taste of uh, championship play in the Big Ten with that, that win in the uh, final, and now going into the NCAA tournament, you're taking on uh, Virginia, which is a powerhouse not only in the ACC, but returning NCAA champions. What are your thoughts going into Sunday? Um, I think we're just really excited. This is a school that has a good history, and knowing that these are two of the top programs in the country that are going at it really quick in the tournament, that it just brings a lot of excitement to us. Everybody, when we found out today, we were all buzzing, saying, oh, Virginia, it's going to be fun. You know, knowing that I'm from Virginia, it even gives me a little more, like, amped to play the game, so just a little excited for it. Do you have family and friends coming to watch? Yeah, I have, I have a lot of family and friends. It's a... A lot of people pushed me to go to Virginia, but I knew Maryland was a place for me. So it's a good, it's a good game that people would be like, "Oh, he should he's he's happy at Maryland," and showing that I can go and play against a team like Virginia would be fun. At the beginning of the year, it was kind of like we were scared, you know, do what we wanted. But then in practice, the upperclassmen would challenge us to, you know, play against them sometimes, and we know that we can compete with them. And they just pushed us like, "Oh, you you know, you can compete with us in practice. Bring it to the games and." That just pushed us to be work together and in practices. It's mixed teams, but the freshmen still challenge upperclassmen. So the chemistry is just we're all battling, and it just makes a good environment for us to be a good team. Right after the Big Ten championship, coach kind of said, "Settle down, settle down." We're not, and you guys all chanted, "We're not done yet." Is that the mentality you have? Yeah, we, we know we can all go much further with this team. It's a great group of guys, and. We just can't be satisfied with the Big Ten championship. We should. You know, we we all had a goal at the end of the year, and it's to make it to the finals, and that's where, that's where we're headed. And as far as the crowd on Sunday, it's at home. You saw it against UCLA. The the power that the the crew can bring. What are you expecting, and how important is the crowd on Sunday? Uh, I'm expecting them just to give UVA a lot of trouble. This, they were saying how they're prepared for it, but I don't think they're ready for our fans or. It's just amazing having the crew. It's behind us and knowing that they have more pressure on them being at our home field and us having them behind us, it makes the game a lot more exciting. Last week and after the Big Ten Championship, we came away with the victory, but very soon after, minutes after you're telling the, the guys to kind of calm down a little and look forward, how did that reflect this week in practice? Uh, it's been a great week of practice. Um, I've been really impressed with... <laughs> The, the concentration, the commitment, uh, and it's been exactly as I hoped it would be. And you said that we're not done yet. Is that the mentality across the team? Yeah, I mean, we, we were at this point last year, and we're very disappointed with uh, with a home loss in the round of 32. So, uh, we, you know, we're, we're committed to uh, putting on a performance that gives us a chance to continue playing until next week. Virginia beat out Ryder, that 2-0, uh, returning champions now and uh, former ACC rivals. What's what's in this game against Virginia? Well, I mean, all you got to do is say Maryland-Virginia, and it gets everybody excited. Uh, it, 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 this is who we thought we would play. 
um, um, you know, when the draw came out. So, uh, you know, we've been uh, we've been preparing well, and uh, we'll be ready on Sunday. But uh, I think it'll be a fantastic atmosphere. Look, this is uh, th- th- you know, this has always been Maryland's biggest rival, and I'm sure Virginia feels the same way. The most important po- thing at this point is we've played a number of different styles all year with our schedule. Uh, we've We've had a really tough schedule, so we're ready for all styles. I think the most important thing is to focus on ourselves and our play and make sure we don't change too much of what we do well uh, and and let other teams try to adjust to us. And are you comfortable with this uh, starting 11 that you've settled into, and what do they bring to this NCAA tournament? Well, we have some 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 good experience, and I think uh, I think the relationships are on the field are better now than they've ever been all year. I, I mean, we're, we're playing well, but you know we we still got to make sure we we bring it on Sunday. And on Sunday at home, how important are these fans going into uh, this tournament? No, no. Listen, I I I, I expect a, a a crazy atmosphere at uh, at Ludwig, and uh, I you know I certainly hope all of our fans uh, uh, show up to support us. We'll need them all uh, in this game.